Merhabalar, ben Sercan. Today, we're going to talk about the verb to read in Turkish. Okumak. Okumak. This verb also means to study in some cases. And we're going to see this in the examples. First of all, we're going to conjugate this verb. And we're going to conjugate it in the definite past tense. In Turkish, this is called görülen or bilinen geçmiş zaman, which literally means seen or known past tense. Definite past tense means that the speaker has seen what happened. So, he or she witnessed the action. As we already learned before, to conjugate the verb, we drop mak or mek from the infinitive verb to obtain the verb stem, and then we add the tense suffix, then we add the person suffix. The tense suffix for the definite past tense is d. D and e undergoes the four-way vowel harmony. In addition, d can turn into t according to the consonant mutation. It all depends on in which letter the verb stem ends. The verb stem of okumak is oku, oku, and the last vowel of the verb stem is u. This means we are going to use the tense suffix du according to the vowel harmony. So, ben okudum, ben okudum, sen okudun, sen okudun, o okudu, o okudu, biz okuduk, biz okuduk. Siz okudunuz. Siz okudunuz. Onlar okudular. Or onlar okudu. As you see, it's very easy and straightforward. There is no consonant mutation. There is no buffer letter for this verb. So it's very easy to handle. Now, let's see the negation. To negate the verb conjugation, we use the negation suffix ma after the verb stem, and then we add the tense suffix, then we add the person suffix. The negation suffix could be ma or me, depending on the verb. You can also see this negation suffix when you look at the negative infinitive verb. Okumak. Okumak is the infinitive verb, right? And it's positive, to read. Okumamak. Okumamak is also an infinitive verb, but this time it is negative, not to read. Now, let's conjugate. In this case, the tense suffix will be attached to the negation suffix. So, in this case, the last vowel of the stem with the negation suffix is a. This means we are going to use the tense suffix d according to the vowel harmony. And you will see some of the person suffixes will follow the same trend. So, ben okumadım, ben okumadım, sen okumadın, sen okumadın, o okumadı, o okumadı, biz okumadık, biz okumadık, siz Okumadınız, siz okumadınız, onlar okumadılar, or onlar okumadı. Before seeing some examples, please remember that personal pronouns can be omitted in the Turkish sentences. But in these examples, I will mention them. Ben kullanım kılavuzunu okudum. Ben Kullanım kılavuzunu okudum. Sen mühendislik okudun. Sen mühendislik okudun. This sentence is an example of how this verb is used to mean study. When you want to express what you study at a university, such as engineering, architecture, psychology, 
medicine or any other, then we use this verb. O şu kitabı hiç okumadı. O şu kitabı hiç okumadı. Biz mektupları okuduk. Biz mektupları okuduk. Siz Gazi Üniversitesi'nde mi mimarlık okudunuz? Siz Gazi Üniversitesi'nde mi mimarlık okudunuz? Onlar gazeteyi okumadılar. Onlar gazeteyi okumadılar. Well, that's it. Now you just learned how to conjugate the verb to read in Turkish and in the definite past tense. See you in the next videos. Görüşmek üzere.